Hey, good morning, guys. Out doing some more scouting today. Oh, it's kicking around, really. So, what I wanted to do today is another flint and steel fire for you guys. Show you uh, a different type of tinder that's readily available around here in the Northeast, anyways. So, uh, stay with me. We'll get right to it. All right, so this is the uh, yellow birch. Uh, it's still a birch, but uh, the bark's quite a bit different than the white birch, which I tend to use a lot for uh, fire tinder. Um, I'll show you the difference here. So there's a couple white, actually quite a few white birches behind the camera here. So I'll kind of give you a close-up of these, show you the difference between the bark. Uh, pretty sure they both have the betulin in it, so it's a great tinder, you know, even when it's wet. Uh, if you got a good ferro rod or something like that to get it going, or lighter matches, whatever the case may be. So, uh, again, we're going to do a flint and steel fire today. So I'm going to grab some of this stuff and uh, get myself a little tinder bundle going. And I'll do the flint and steel fire. So let me get you guys a couple close-ups of the yellow birch. Uh, we'll go take a look at a couple of the white birches just behind the camera here. And keep it going. Stay with me, guys. All right, so again, here's the yellow birch. I'm not quite sure if the camera's picking that up or not, but you can definitely see there's a lot of yellow in there. And the bark tends to be a lot more curly than the white. Uh, the white birch does do that as well, but not quite as bad as the yellow does. Alright, here obviously is the white, uh, like I said, it tends to be a bit more smooth in the bark, uh, obviously it does curl up just like the yellow does, just not as bad. So you can see it coming off here, you can go ahead and just pull this stuff right off, and sheets most of the time. Uh, top tinder material, you know as far as I'm concerned up here in the northeast. Uh, this and pine, you really don't need anything else. But uh, like I said, you can get this off in sheets. Uh, yellow birch, you're not going to be able to do this with. It kind of crumbles off the tree. I'll show you that when we get to gathering it. But uh, again, the white, pretty smooth. I mean, you can see, you know, some little spots where it curls off. You know, you can get some fine stuff off of there. You can grab some of the biggest stuff when it's peeling off like this get some bigger pieces and just process that up later. So that's a bigger tree here. Again, it's pretty smooth. So let's go check out a couple more. All right, so again, little cluster of whites here. Uh, probably a 12 inch diameter tree here. Uh, you can see this one's curling off quite a bit more. Uh, most of the spots where it isn't curling is still smooth, just like the last one I showed you. But you can pull, you know, and get a good bunch of tinder right off of here pretty easy. Take you no time. And uh, again, you tend to get, you know, some bigger pieces off the white than you do the yellow. So, uh, there's a couple spots up here higher off the camera. Don't think I'm going to throw this out because I'm not. So uh, let me get you a shot of those, uh, then we'll get to the yellow. I'll grab some of that and show you what that looks like up close. Alright, so there's a pretty good spot. You get some big pieces curling off there. Uh, just above, top of, screen, top of the screen. Get some smaller stuff curling. And it kind of continues like that as you go up the tree here. So, curling off pretty good there. Alright, so let's get to the yellow. Grab some of that and... Uh, Get on with the video. All 
All right, so again, you know, in short time, get a pretty good handful of tinder there. And you can see the curls on the yellow are pretty tight and curly, which uh, doesn't allow them to come off in sheets like the white does. But uh, again, just good tinder. I haven't showed this on video yet. Again, it's still a birch, so it's gonna be good. Just like the white is. I figured while I was out here messing around, I'll show you guys this. You know, as well as practice my skills while I'm out here too, you know. Once you have a skill, definitely need to maintain it. Alright, pretty good ball. It's uh Head on over, process some of this stuff up, and uh, see what happens with a flint and steel fire. Again, process some of this stuff down. Get that surface area going. Out our kit here. I'm using a new striker here. Got from a good friend. He was actually a student at one of the Pathfinder school classes, and a student of mine in particular with his nine-year-old daughter. Uh, they were a blast to be around, a blast to work with. Uh, his name was Kevin Smith. So uh, this is his own design for a striker. Uh, he made me one, sent it to me. Uh, pretty nice of him, so thank you, Kevin, for that. I appreciate it. Uh, just on one side, it says the Woodsman School on it. And on the other side, just has my last name, Farrier. So and how he explained how this works to me, if you take the lobe side down the bottom and just rest kind of your ring finger there, it kind of sits there nice and comfortable. Uh, thing throws major league sparks. Well, it's a uh, good carbon steel here. Obviously the other equation to that is a uh, good piece of flint. I think you guys can see those sparks. So shouldn't be no problem getting our char cloth going anyways. Alright, so you can see my yellow birch bundle here. It's kind of a mess, hard to hold on to. So I just went ahead and grabbed a couple pieces of white birch. Uh, this is not going to help start the fire, it's just going to help hold my tinder bundle or bird's nest. However you want to look at it. So I just got a couple pieces here. I'm going to put one on top of the other like such. Fold the top in on either one. Create myself a little pocket here to put my bird's nest in. And then I'll have a handle when I'm done. This will stay down. I'll have a handle to hold when I go to blow this into a flame. Make it a bit easier. All right, so here's our bundle. Got our piece of char cloth here. Let's see what happens. First shot there. Keep my bundle from falling apart here. We'll be in good shape.
mosquitoes are ferocious right now. I'm right by the, the lake, so. Gonna take nothing. One blast of air. Again, it's yellow birch. It's, it's still birch, so it's got that betulin in it. Appreciate you guys joining me for another video. Uh, just a, another tinder. Again, a new striker that I got from uh, Kevin Smith. So, uh, seemed to work pretty good. So, I appreciate all your views, comments, and support, guys. Uh, everything you do for me. Uh, get back with you with another video as soon as I can.